Whiteout the Wit is by far the biggest athletic event at UNH. Maine's our biggest rival, and this is the event that students get the most excited for. As the Cat Pack captains, it's really our mission to keep it that big, that exciting, make this arena as loud and as crazy as it's been in the past. Any questions on that? That's the list of like standard main cheers. Our membership is around 40 to 45 students. We meet every Wednesday night, just developing a plan of action for the coming athletic events. And what are we going to do there to make the student section better than it was last time? Pre-game ritual. Paint, paint my own face right in front of a mirror. In the morning of White Out the Wit, 10 a.m., we'll be getting in line. We'll bring our, our books, our homework, laptops, because we got to get down to the glass so we can lead this student section. It's fun. People say, what, you're crazy. 10 a.m., why are you getting in line at 10 a.m.? Puck drops at 7 p.m. It's all about the experience, and it's an incredible feeling, really. Let's go! So after warm-ups, uh, the lights dim and the, the mascots hit the ice. The student section, we have our hands up in the air, clapping in unison, the cowbell is going. This energy just erupts out of it. And it's absolutely incredible. And then the UNH flag hits the ice with the team followed behind it, and the, the place just blows up, honestly. And then the lights come on. We hit puck drop, and from there, the cowbell's going, and we do our, our staple chant. After that, we have I Believe in UNH. And what we implemented last year was the I Believe in UNH banner. Whether you're underneath it or looking at it, it's just an incredible sight. It just really captures the sense of family and, and unity that we have as a student section and as a university, honestly. So another chant that we have for White Out the Wit is Go Cats, Beat Maine. Uh, you go back and forth eight times and then you chant UNH at the end. Seven. Near the end of every period, right before the final minute, we yell to the announcer, hey, John, how much time is left? And we yell at exactly one minute, four seconds. So by the time it hits a minute, I don't actually know if he salutes back or not. I mean, we've done it enough. I'm sure he's very familiar with it. <laughs> There's always been a UNH cowbell since Snively Arena. That is what leads the student sections. His name is Mitch. He has been passed down for the past three years now, and he is at all athletic games. I'm not a percussionist, per se, but that beat, the dun 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 it didn't take too long. It's something that's just kind of, as a UNH student, that's just ingrained in, in your memory. You know that by heart. Hockey's huge at this school. Everyone knows that. Um, but we realize that there's a lot of other athletic events at this institution that deserve the support of the student body. Um, so we, we're at football, we're at basketball, um, we've been at volleyball, and just make that atmosphere there something enjoyable for the students, for the parents, um, the community members. We just want it to be high energy, uh, a passionate place, um, and people just to really enjoy their time there.